Hey guys, sorry it's been a while. Uh, I guess it hasn't been. It's been a couple of weeks since I posted. Sorry about the Scotty Kilmer thing. Those who get it, get it. <laughs> Anyways, um, the following clip is about this distributor that's in the background. Um, it's, it's a non-edited, straight-talking, no, no non-scripted video. Uh, yes, it's a bit of a rant, so forgive me for stumbling through it a little bit. It's been a while since I've been using my editing equipment. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this will be informational. informational. <laughs> it, hopefully this video will be of use of, to some people um, and when it comes to buying parts, aftermarket parts. I figured I'd make a video about uh, something interesting. Uh, customer brought in um, his or her own bought uh, ignition distributor. This is a 1995 Eurovan 2.5 liter. I think it was the ACV, sorry, ACU um, engine code. Um, Rock Auto, brand new distributor. Um, you can obviously read through this yourself. 100% new. Uh, tested on the block uh, to the applicable, applicable specifications of the vehicle. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, complete assembly with cap and rotor, shaft seals. Uh, basically plug and play. Well, putting it in. Um, you know you can't go too far wrong there's an alignment notch here uh, which indexes the distributor rotor to the uh, camshaft and then obviously you've got the um, slotted slots here for turning the distributor to do the timing adjustment well putting this distributor in um, fits nicely and it turns nicely when adjusting timing but it just wouldn't run right and uh, it, the computer would even flag a camshaft position sensor fault code. Uh, for those who don't know, the Eurovan five-cylinder engine only has a camshaft position sensor, which is basically the hall sensor inside the distributor. There is no crankshaft position sensor. So if this sensor fails, the engine stops running. On vehicles that have uh, crankshaft position sensors or engine speed sensors, as well as a camshaft position sensor. If the camshaft position sensor fails, uh, the engine will still continue to run, even when it has a distributor. Uh, I've got videos on my channel where, where I unplug the hall sensor on the distributor while the vehicle is running and the vehicle continues to run again because the computer relies on the crankshaft position sensor. In this case, when the uh, vehicle acted up or when the sensor got, it gets hot, the um, either the car doesn't start uh, or it see, somewhat misfires trying to start uh, there are various symptoms and as it cools down it'll start again um, so anyways customer was experiencing some of these um, symptoms and so they figured let's just buy a distributor and uh, you know the quickest way to go put in the new distributor and uh, it, the car is good again well as it turns out uh, let me just switch screens here there's a difference uh, with the new distributor and I believe it's manufacturing process um, lack of quality control or whatever so this is the old distributor as you can tell here you know the old hall sensor connector and I made some marks here uh, these two black marks are basically this window or shutter wheel uh, and I'm using a uh, vernier caliper just to measure. Um, I actually screwed up the order of the pictures here. Uh, this is the new one, so you can see this is nice and shiny new. The housing is new, and so I'm measuring this window here. And you can see up here that that's 10 millimeters and just a little bit past 13 millimeters. That's how wide this solid window is. I didn't measure the uh, open air window uh, and again for because it's a five cylinder there's five of these so there's one here one here one here one here one here in total five five metal shutters and five open windows so I measured after installing this thing and it couldn't for the life of me adjust timing and it was running incorrectly almost like misfiring um, and um, setting that camshaft position sensor fault code I pulled the distributor out and that's when I did some closer looking. Some might say, well, you should have inspected stuff before you put it in. Well, again, getting back to this uh, 
100% new, you know, tested new components faster, so eliminates premature failures, blah, blah, blah. Apparently not. So this is the new one, 13, just a little over 13 millimeters. I compare it to the old one. Uh, I got a, be a better shot of uh, the actual millimeter readings, but you can see here that's about a millimeter difference here. Uh, the the original one is one millimeter shorter the the solid window so here we go this is the new one just over 13 millimeters that's the old one almost 12 millimeters exactly so that was one issue when the computer only takes into account the windows or the shutter wheel in the distributor again no crankshaft position sensor it relies on a square wave signal to determine ignition timing or to, to adjust the ignition timing and to adjust uh, or to spray the injectors. So the fact that there's already a millimeter difference, it may not sound much, sound like much, but uh, when the engine's rotating at X amount of RPM, you know, that little bit of difference can actually mean quite a lot uh, in my mind. I'm no, I'm no electrical engineer, but I'm just pointing out differences, differences. <laughs> so here's the uh, old distributor and you can see here the shaft and the shutter wheel and obviously these lines are not probably not exactly uh, how they're how how they're pointing uh, or it should be I'm just guessing here I took a straight straight line here and I lined it up with the shaft and tried to try to be as uh, correct as I could be but anyways it, it it's the, the, you'll get the general idea by comparing the other one so anyways you can see here the ignition rotor sits facing upwards so the tip of the rotor would be about here point or up here pointing towards the um, the different poles on the distributor cap and you can see here the solid window so the distributor is pointing just ahead of this window in the new distributor there's the window from this red line to this red line and you can see the ignition rotor shaft here so you place the position you position the rotor on this shaft the rotor tip would be around here and it's inside this solid window again getting back to the other one when the old ca rotor is on it's pointing just ahead of this window so that's an even bigger problem than the first one millimeter issue in my mind because if the rotor is not pointing at a, you know, if the rotor is pointing away to the left or to the right too far, when the computer thinks, the computer is relying on these shutter wheels, right? So it, it sees a, a rise in signal and a fall in signal. It's a square wave. And depending on how many square waves it sees or whatever RPM, it does all these calculations and then it, um, it fires the um, ignition coil. So if the rotor is pointing in the wrong spot when the coil fires, then and the the distributor cap pole is over here, or a post, and the distributor rotor is over here, it, it has to produce a much greater spark or overcome a much greater distance to travel. Uh, and here again, the old one, just pointing right ahead in front of this window here. Uh, so long story short. Um, because the main problem was the camshaft position sensor and this this is the old one uh, I didn't want to just take the old the, sorry the new distributor the, the new camshaft position hall sensor out and put it in the old housing uh, because there obviously there's an old seal here old bushing at the bottom so I figured let's just take the center section out the shaft and the window which is the correct uh, uh, not application sorry loss of words here it's been a while uh, because it's manufactured to the correct specifications I used the old distributor shutter wheel sh distributor shaft and put it in the new housing and the vehicle runs fine okay that was long enough here long story short new parts uh, yeah well okay there's so there's a 12 months warranty do we send it back and wait for another one do we take the chance to do to to do the same thing with another new one? How many of these were assembled wrong at the assembly plant, right? They're testing. All they do when they when they see it was tested on the block, 
they're just checking for a square wave output if they see the square wave output they're saying it's working fine well obviously not if the rotor is pointing in the wrong direction if the shutter wheel is too big too small that square wave is going to be wrong size that's why the computer gets confused okay just long story short buyer beware new parts thanks for watching